Hello folks, this is another short guide for a new boss in version 3.1. This is the Aeon Blight Drake. The boss is in Southeast Sumeru. Start off by going to the teleporter closest to it and bring a Dendro character. Hit this little Dendro pod with no, Dendro to activate some tether points and take those across the cliff. This will lead you to the entrance of a little cave or ruin area and that's where the boss is located. This boss is pretty easy as well, not as easy as the one in the desert, but very easy still. It has 5 attacks while on the ground, and 4 different attacks in the air, but you can pretty much do the same thing to dodge all of them. Let's start with the ground stuff. The most common one is a tail sweep. It is very slow and telegraphed, so you have plenty of time to use a dash to react with your iframes and avoid damage. Another similar attack is a 2 hit combo then a tail spin. Be on the side or dash to the side to avoid the 2 hits and then dash again to avoid the tail spin. It can use shoulder punches to attack what's in front of it. So when you see the shoulders glow, head to the side. Just dash to the side or run to the side. It's all the same. It's very linear so it cannot hit anything besides the front. If you are far away from it, it will try to charge at you and you can easily just dash or walk to the side to avoid the charge. And the last attack on the ground is when it makes it rain. It will shoot a lot of random AoEs in the air and they will fall to the ground, hitting random locations. It usually hits more around the boss, so if you go far away, it's safer. Or you can try to dash right when the bombs hit the ground to avoid damage. The boss has another trick where it gains resistance to an element that you recently attacked it with. And you get an achievement by defeating the boss after it gains resistance to two different elements. So an easy way to get this achievement is to fight the boss until it gains resistance to one of your elements, and then use another one of the basic elements to attack it until it gains resistance to that. Now on to the flying phase. It has four attacks here. Usually when it flies up, the first attack it does is a quick Gatling gun, and all you need to do is walk to the side to avoid it. Walking or running to the side is gonna be your solution to all these attacks. Another common attack is a missile barrage. It will shoot a bunch of homing missiles at you, and these missiles will home for the first couple seconds, then travel in a straight line. They also kind of come in two volleys, so you can dash twice in succession to avoid all these missiles. The third attack is another make it rain attack. It's pretty much the same as the version on the ground, but this time he's in the air. Either time a good dash, or just stay away from the boss to avoid most of the explosions. And the final attack in the air is very rare. I've been baiting the boss for 10 minutes and only seen this attack twice. It will make its tail glow and charge in a straight line. This is pretty much the same as the charge attack from the ground version, but once again, it is in the air. To make this boss easier, you can avoid the flying phase entirely if you bring an archer with you. When the boss goes to the air, wait until it does its first attack and dodge it, then use the charge shots with the archer to shoot the shoulder part of the wings. It's a glowing area, so it's pretty easy to hit. Just use the charge attack to hit both shoulders or wings, and the boss will fall down. This is also how you get another achievement. And that's pretty much it for this boss. Very easy pattern to dodge, but it's also pretty slow at the start, so you can just bring a strong team and unga bunga your way before it even takes flight. Here's me using one of my regular vape teams with the loop. And the boss's health bar vaporizes pretty quickly with just my normal team. Both the bosses in version 3.1 are pretty simple this time around. Hoping for much harder challenges in 3.2. Anyway, thanks for watching my guides. For more Genshin videos, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. And as always, have fun out there, traveler.